Hey guys, Jessica Kirk here. Day five, I think. Five, I think it's five. Uh, I think y'all saw me yesterday taking a shower, talking to you about some really important stuff um, about listing photos. Guys, I'm so serious about that. It is the most asinine thing I see. Well, one of the most asinine things I see is people with these awful photos. Anyways, so um, today I'm talking about something a little more serious, a little more um, exciting about what's happening in the market right now. So, <clears throat> I was in my Buffini meeting this morning at Remax Integrity, best office there is, and we were talking about how all of our buyers are having to write multiple offers on multiple houses and they're getting kicked out because there's not a lot of inventory. So instead of just saying that to you and being like, oh, time to sell now, like some used car salesman, I'm going to show you the data. So if you are wanting to live in Klein, if you're a buyer wanting to live in Klein ISD and you don't want to spend more than $200,000 and you want a three bedroom or more but at least a three bedroom, and you want a home that is not more than 10 years old, there's one house on the market. I'm not kidding. This is, this is it. One house. The rest of those are sold. So, oh, there goes my papers. Live, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, so my point with that is, if you're a seller in this area, if you're a homeowner and you have a home for sale that you want that's less than 10 years old, even older than that, but especially 10 years old, if you don't have any competition, now's the time. Multiple offers. Average days on market right now for, for that criteria is 12 days. I want to make sure everybody understood that. Klein ISD, $200,000, three plus bedrooms, 10 years old or less. 12 days on the market before it goes under contract. It's pretty serious. Now, if you want to move farther out, you're like, well, maybe I don't want to live in Klein. Maybe I want to live somewhere else. So... The one place, if you're a buyer, and it's not, I lost my Tomball paper. Okay, I think I know it. So, Tomball, there's about seven houses on the market in that criteria. So, two points with that. If you're a seller, good time to go ahead and think about getting your house on the market. If you're a buyer, you're going to need to have an agent who knows how to beat out those other offers. When you're walking through a house who look, can see the signs of, oh, this is a divorce. Or, oh, this is a pre-foreclosure. Because then you know there are weak points in negotiations and you can get your offer accepted. It's not always all about price. There's a lot of other things involved in writing an offer other than just price. So, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Is that we all say that spring and summer is the time to sell, blah, blah, blah. And, but right now, it actually, this is very true. It always kicks up this time of year. Right now, it's serious. And like I said, inventory is low. So you need an agent that is smart for both sides of the transaction and who knows what they're doing and who can tell you the truth. Like, hey, Klein may not be the best deal. Why don't we move? Tomball's not that far. Their schools are just as good, if not better sometimes. So that's my point today. Keep subscribing so someone can win that beautiful ring plate. Uh, do I have anything else? Let's see. Did my Buffini meeting this morning, doing my blitz. Oh, I still need a FISBO, guys. I need you to tell me someone you know who's going to be selling their house by themselves. Please. Because if not, I'm going to be interviewing my father, who did this, even though I'm his daughter. So, I really want someone else. I want a real person. I don't want to be my dad. That's silly. So, get with me. Find me someone who's, the, who's hard-headed, thinks they can do everything on their own. I want to talk to them. Okay. Bye.